Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I find great software pretty much every day, and I let everybody that follows me know pretty much right away. Uh, in some cases, I'll you know highlight certain software in a video on its own, and, and what I think I'm wanting to do uh, as we move forward is do at least one of these types of videos every week. And it's kind of a short roundup of uh, some of the more interesting uh, products that I've found. Um, and you know, I'm looking on Mac OS X, uh, Linux, Windows, it doesn't matter to me. If it's cool software, it's cool software. Uh, so these happen to be freeware finds, and the first of which I'm going to point out is actually a cross-platform utility. Uh, it happens to be a GUI, a graphical user interface for this, well, utility that's been around forever. I've uh, always used it, uh, HTML Tidy. The issue with HTML Tidy is that if you don't have a good user interface for it, it's kind of unwieldy. And I used HTML Tidy with PSPad, my favorite free text editor on Windows, and was looking for something on Mac OS X and ran across last night, just kind of accidentally, uh, Balthazar Tidy. This is by far the best graphical user interface for HTML Tidy I've ever seen and that I've ever used. I kid you not. If you are starting to code HTML and you're running into errors, what you can do is you can copy and paste your HTML in the top area. It'll automatically reformat it in the second area and then show you the messages below telling you what was wrong and what, the, what it corrected. You can go through and you can set the defaults independently, like your defaults when you run HTML tidy, or set them uh, you know, on demand, like when you're ready to do something different in, in, in the HTML tidy process. This is great. If you do any type of HTML, you want to use HTML tidy. And if you're going to use HTML tidy, you've got to have a good user interface for it. Balthazar tidy, amazing. Happens to be free as well. Found at balthazar.com. Now the second utility I found out today, and this is a really good one for uh, those of you who use Google Docs. We've done Google Docs videos before. I've blogged for Google Docs, and I'm going to tell them about this particular video that we're recording now. Maybe they'll embed it in their uh, blog. Uh, because this utility, I believe, was just released, and I found out about it almost right away. It's on code.google.com, so it's fully open source. It's a preference pane for Mac OS X that will automatically synchronize the data that's in your Google Docs and Google Bookmarks with your desktop. So now what I can do is I can go up to my spotlight search, you hit command space bar, they get you know the little magnifying glass in the typically in the upper right hand corner of Mac OS X. And I'll type in let's say GNOME Dex, because I know I've got a lot of GNOME Dex information on Google Docs. And there's a weird icon under the documents section. I click that icon, it takes me to that Google Doc. Can you believe it? I'm indexing Google Docs on my desktop. Yeah, that is cool. Melting the best of offline with the best of online. I love it. It's really easy to, to set up. You install it, you enter in your Google credentials, and you're on the road. So there you go. That utility, again, is precipitate, and it can be found at code.google.com slash p slash precipitate, as in, you know, a little raindrop precipitation, I believe. Could be wrong uh, because it's got a little raindrop for the logo you know with a little earth raindrop i'm just guessing shooting in the dark here the last one is a utility that i, I forgot that i had and they just issued an update today garage buy it's a free utility that gives you a different way of interfacing with ebay now if you haven't used uh, the ebay desktop tool on the air platform we've talked about that in the past although i don't think i've highlighted the that particular ebay tool this is similar. Uh, it will pull in your searches, keep those searches, uh, and allow you to browse uh, those searches graphically in a, a desktop utility. This is only for Mac OS X. If you want a cross-platform one, look at the eBay desktop for Air. See, I'm trying to be friendly to everybody out there, no matter what operating system you're using, but this does kind of feel a little better than the eBay desktop on Air. Uh, you can change the view. Uh, you can switch categories with a great degree of ease on, on your search term, filter the results, uh, increase or decrease the size of the thumbnails if you're using that particular view. 
Uh, you can change the view with relative ease. If I want, I think it's, there you go. So I can just get a regular listing. They've got a little buy it now right there. So if, if an item happens to be buy it now, I'll know right there I can see it in the type. Uh, there's also, there's another one, another way of looking at it. it gives you a little more information in a classic eBay style, although it, it, it does look a lot better. I would rather browse eBay like this than actually go to eBay.com just because it just looks nicer. I mean, that's the one thing that always bugged me about eBay is that it just didn't look nice. eBay desktop on air, of course, kind of blast that out of the water and I gotta give props to Garage Buy uh, and Garage Buy can be found at iwascoding.com slash garage buy garage buy so there you go three freeware picks potentially uh, leads for other freeware or free software that you may or may not have heard about before if you have any freeware picks to pass along and I, I mean like freeware that nobody's heard of or hardly anybody's heard of or that nobody knows about that's the kind of stuff I'm interested in okay not the, the, don't recommend something to me that everybody has heard of, okay? Because I've probably heard of it too. Chances are. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you develop software, whether it's shareware or freeware. Let me know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, feel free to pass a link along. I'd love to take a look. And you're also welcome to stop by the chat room. Uh, this is a... I don't know, it's being done in conjunction with this live video stream. We'll have hundreds and hundreds of people here at any given time. And they're always asking about software. No matter what platform, they are always asking about software. In fact, tonight when I said, what do you guys want me to talk about first? They wanted me to talk about software. Even though they knew I was talking about Mac software and some of these people aren't Mac users, they still wanted me to talk about the Mac software. And they happened to learn about software that was available for their platform too. So it's all just tech to us. And maybe it's just tech to you. Feel free to stop by. Say hello. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with this live video feed at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.